Hey friends, welcome back to Gamer Thoughts, the show where I talk about what I've been thinking about in the world of gaming this week. We skipped last week because I was on vacation, but we're back and we will be back on the regular weekly upload schedule. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about a topic that I see quite frequently because I play a lot of live service games that span multiple years. Uh, but I think it affects more than just that, and the topic is gamer burnout. So I see a lot of my friends getting burnt out on games, but not not fully realizing that that's what it is that's happening. And so I want to talk about it as someone who's been gaming for 20 odd years uh, and experienced gamer burnout in multiple ways. So the first thing I wanna say is that gamer burnout affects everyone differently and it can happen in multiple situations. It's not necessarily just for a specific game. You can be burnt out on a specific game, you can be burnt out on a specific genre, and you can even be burnt out on gaming altogether. Now, this is a natural thing. This happens to everybody. Uh, and it's in the human mind, just sometimes when we have the same thing over and over and over, it gets stale. Sometimes we just need a break. Um, and the way gamer burnout affects us all, it comes at different stages. Some people it happens really, really fast. It can happen in a week or a month. And some people, it can take a couple years. Some people never experience it. If you're in the group that never experiences gamer burnout and is able to play the same game every day for 10 years and have zero problems, I'm not talking to you. Um, but for those of us that do experience gamer burnout, there's a few things that can happen. Uh, a lot of the times, games, because we're playing them every day, they just get boring. And we think to ourselves, man, I really wish something new and exciting would happen with this game that would make me love it again. Or, and we think that the company needs to make some major change or major twist to the game to make it fresh again. Uh, one of the first things to realize when looking at games and gamer burnout is that generally, once a game is out, the core systems of that game are never going to change. Uh, also, a lot of long-term games are built on the premise of FOMO. They're built on this idea that things are going to be limited time and that you've got to play every day to make sure that you get all the rewards or experience all the events. Um, and they expect you to not necessarily be uh, there forever. They build their models off churn, off constantly bringing in new people and expecting people to leave. Uh, they do not plan to do a major redesign to get every player to stay forever. Um, in very rare cases, games aren't designed that way. Uh, the producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV is rather famous for saying in an interview, he's fine with people stop playing Final Fantasy XIV and taking a break for periods at a time. Um, but that's generally not how these games are designed. They're designed to squeeze you and pull every last ounce of patience out of you until you don't want to play it anymore. Um, and that can happen with a specific game. It can also happen with genres of games. I know it's happened to me with open world games very frequently because open world games take hundreds of hours of time and you're going through and you're checking off all these boxes of making sure you've done every quest, gotten every ending, and playing like a new game plus version of the game. Uh, and I know it happened to me recently. I played Horizon Forbidden West and I logged in 115 hours into the game and it was awesome. The next game I played was another open world game and I got five hours into it and I, I saw the symbols and the checklists and everything and I said, man, I just can't do this right now. Um, and I've even had it happen to me with gaming altogether where there was a good six, seven month period where I just didn't game at all. Um, and I did other things. I started some new hobbies. I watched a lot of TV shows and that was totally fine. After those seven months, a game came out that I wanted to play again and I was right back into gaming every day and I don't regret it. The thing about these games is that they will uh, purposely burn you out. You need, you need to recognize that that's gonna happen. Um, a couple ways to do that is figure out what you're burnt out on. Is it a specific game that you're burnt out on? Is it a genre? Is it gaming altogether? If it's a specific game, take a break from it. Go play another game. I promise the rewards and the events you're gonna miss out on are not worth your mental health. If it's a specific genre of game, go play something entirely different. I was burnt out on open world games. I recently played Bloodborne, which is much more level-based, and it was awesome. 
it was a great break. It's what took up all my time for two and a half weeks. And now I'm playing another open world game and I'm fine. I feel great about open world games again. I just need a different taste. Uh, and then if it's gaming altogether, your friends are not gonna leave if you stop gaming. You have other things that you can talk about. Uh, don't worry that you're gonna miss out on so much if you step away for a couple months. It will be great for you and you'll feel really refreshed when you come back. Um, but those are just my thoughts on gamer burnout. If you feel like you're burnt out on a game recently, let me know down in the comments what game it was that burnt you out or how you refound love again for a game that you were burnt out on for several months or weeks or years. Um, and let me know if you are burnt out currently and you want suggestions on what, it, what to do next. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions down in the comments. If you like this kind of content, remember to like and subscribe. We do put out a Gamer Thoughts every week, as well as other gaming content on the channel. As always, much love and thanks for watching.